Hi! In this video, I'm going to show a quick demo how using the web scraper, you can scrape a simple e-commerce site. Let's start by looking at the site. The site has a two-level navigation with categories and subcategories. Each subcategory has a list of products that lead to product pages. In this tutorial, I will show how to make a scraper that scrapes these products by navigating through all of the categories and subcategories. To open Web Scraper's toolbar, open Developer Tools, where you can find Web Scraper tab. I'll start by creating a new sitemap. Let's call this sitemap e-commerce. The start URL will be the landing page of this site. Web Scraper will start scraping from this URL, and then it will navigate the rest of the site. Now I am going to build multiple selectors that will be arranged in a tree-like structure, similarly how the site is built. These selectors will define how the site will be navigated and how the data is going to be extracted. To visit these categories, I'm going to create a link selector. The selector will be called Category Link, and I will change its type to Link. Now I can select the category link elements from the page by clicking Select Button. I'm also checking the Multiple checkbox, because multiple links will be found in this page. The selector is now ready. To validate the selector, I click Data Preview to see if it works. Now let's go to one of the category pages to create a subcategory link selector. Also. I am clicking on the Category Selector so that the Subcategory Selector is executed in Category Page. Similarly, like the Category Link Selector, I will create a Subcategory Selector. And I am also checking the selector with Data Preview. I can move forward to the subcategory page. Here, I will create a link selector that will navigate to product pages. At this point, the selectors are configured to navigate from start URL to product pages in all categories. Under the Product Link Selector, I will add multiple data extraction selectors to extract data from a product page. I'll start by creating a text selector that will extract the name of this product. Similarly, I'll add text selectors to extract price and description. To extract the image URL, I'll create an image selector. As you can see, there are different types of selectors to extract specific data types. Now I have all the product information selectors that I wanted. I can quickly check them with Data Preview. Also, you should go to other product pages to check whether the selectors work as expected there. After creating selectors, you can open Selector Graph to get an overview how the sitemap is built. Here you can see how the scraper will navigate to product page through all of the link selectors. The sitemap is now complete, and I can launch the scraper locally. I'll open the Scrape view and click Start Scraping button. As you can see, Web Scraper launched a pop-up window in which it is loading URLs to extract data. While the data is being scraped, you can click the Refresh button to check that everything is working as expected. I'll pause the video while the scraper is running. The scraper window is now closed, and here you can see all of the scraped data. To export the data, I'm going to open Export Data View 
where a download link will appear. And here you can see the scraped data. If you want to learn more about WebScraper, go to webscraper.io. There you will find more video tutorials and documentation about all of the selector types.